of intros. What we want is people to just say your name and where you're from. Um, something relatively quick. My time in Old Growth Forest, I spent looking for new big trees and awesome places like the Avatar Grove. So. He's recognized in today's Times columnist with a thumbs up as the guy who uh, found Avatar Grove. Oh wow, <laughs> awesome. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Neville Winchester. Um, first introduced into the canopy is really working in Carmana yeah. in 91 and along with Kevin who's my climber. We've done, uh, I did finish my PhD in 95 and since then with Kevin and a bunch of other people we've been to probably <coughs> to 14 different countries doing research on old growth so I'd be intrigued to see what we come up with. So he is the old growth expert here. And yeah it doesn't seem that long ago and I bet you I've met many people through there who've ever been with him. Carmana sort of stuff, it's just that I can't remember now. So I'll, I'll look forward to sort of talking to you later. Um, and I'm Darren uh, from Victoria. I'll be one of the guides as well today. And we're uh, now looking at lots of old growth forests to see what spiders are in there. So. Darren's the president of the Victoria Natural History Society. So he used to, you might recognize him from the um, uh, from the Goldstream Nature House and from all the Sasquatch films too. <laughs> so he'll be like interpreting a lot. <laughs> He's our charismatic megafauna. <laughs> I'm the Sasquatch handler. No, I'm Claudia Copley. And uh, I like uh, intact ecosystems of all descriptions. So it doesn't have to be old growth forest. It could be an old growth prairie. It could be a lot of different things. <laughs> I'm Sid, I'm from Victoria, and I've seen a few uh, old, old, what they call old growth forests, and uh, I've seen Avatar in 3D. <laughs> By the way, just a quick note about Sid, you didn't want me to mention this, but he's the pioneer, the, one of the first journalists to cover the old growth issue as the editor of Monday Magazine in the 1980s and 90s. So it started with Sid covering the issue, and it was not cool back then. So thanks, thanks for Sid. Road. And then we'll go to the upper growth to see the uh, gnarliest, craziest tree in Canada. <laughs> and, uh, and then from there, uh, there'll be a little bit more nature interpretation. So you want to follow TJ's van? It's low. Uh, it's paved most of the way. Eventually you do get to some lumpier sections or gravel. And you always want to make sure that the person behind you is, is close to you. Try not leaving big gaps, eventually someone misses a fork in the road. As long as you're close, you have the person behind you close to you, then everyone's stuck together. Support us in a time when there was not a lot of support. And now we've got the Chamber of Commerce and everybody on board, but uh, uh, the local communities need to know that there's a financial benefit for standing, st sticking their necks out, which is not easy in a lot of these places, uh, to say save the old growth, uh, instead of the historic, uh, you know, historically this town's built on, on logging and, and on fishing. So it's not an easy thing, and we need to give them thanks. Make sure you uh, buy something in town while you're here. <laughs> a little souvenir. Yeah. Okay, so we'll we'll get going. If everyone wants to. Yeah. 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 Yeah.